Difficult situation, they say, requires desperate and proactive approach to achieve sustainable result. This is the situation of Nigeria's power sector, and the conversation is for states to develop alternative energy that will complement supply of electricity from the national grid. Joshua Ojito has more for us. From ECN to NEPA, PHCN to the unbundled and privatized power sector, Nigeria rely on a single grid for the supply of electricity. With increase in population, aged and obsolete power infrastructure, vandalism among other challenges, the national grid is characterized with instability that results in frequent system failure, disrupting supply nationwide. As demand for electricity to power the country's economy continue to rise, there are calls for subnationals to look inward and develop alternative energy sources independent of the national grid leveraging the new electricity act. Today's Nigeria, any energy generating company has to now generate and supply it to a central energy system in Okshabo, where from there you start distributing. Some of our scientists, we wonder why do we do that in a big country like Nigeria? Why not you decentralize the transmission system into zones? And then any other zone that have surplus is the surplus you can then send to the central system for warehousing, which after if there is a deficiency in one zone, they can tap from the central system. By the time you do that, each zone has its energy master plan. And then the supply system, the generation, supply, transmission, and distribution within that zone can take care of the energy need of that zone. We have about two companies now that are ready to install three gigawatt, that's 3,000 megawatts of solar power source in Nigeria. And this is an opportunity for the states to also invest in this. We have over 70 dams spread across the length and breadth of Nigeria. We have developed about 27 of these dams. And 20 of these dams, we are going to concession them to interested investors in small hydropower from 500 kilowatts, you understand, to 1 megawatt, to 5 megawatts, up to 15 megawatts of power. This is also useful in our distributed power strategy across the length and breadth of Nigeria. It is expected that if each state of the Federation can harness its energy sources to power its communities, it will reduce pressure and complement the national grid, thereby ensuring available electricity supply nationwide. Joshua Ojito, NTA News.